I'm a big fan of the Blink X-T2. In this video, we're going to look at getting rid of these batteries that come with the Blink so you don't have to ever replace them again and substitute for this lithium-ion 18650 battery. And we are going to charge the 18650 battery with a standard wall charger. And we are going to run the Blink X-T2 from this shield here with the 18650 in it. You can get these 18650 batteries probably for about three or four dollars on Amazon or AliExpress. They're going to power this XT2. They have a voltage of 3.7 volts and 3.4 uh, thousand milliamp hours for about 12.58 watts versus the AA batteries about 300 milliamp hours and that's about nine watts of power so why would you want to do this well first of all you don't have to replace this battery at all like you're going to have to replace this one the other thing is you might have some nearby charging capabilities that would like an ac like a porch light or something that's going to go on maybe once a night or every once in a while somebody's going to flip it on and when that does go on it's going to charge your 18650 battery. Another thing you might be able to add is a 5 volt solar panel to be able to charge this because this thing will take 5 to 8 volts it's not very picky but in my case, I have a porch light that's going to go on, and I'm just going to charge it with my porch light that will go on. Uh, it's actually on a timer, a Wemos timer. So that is the whole setup here, and I'm going to show you a little bit about my implementation. Here's another shot of the back of the board. Uh, it's a DIY more board. Um, you can kind of see the board here a little closer uh, it there's other a bunch of other knockoffs I got this one I think on Amazon since this is going to be in an outside environment I'm going to paint this acrylic nail polish on to the board it's going to live outside and then I'm also a big fan of using some um, some some gel in some grease silicon grease in this in these connections here this is the input connection uh, it's a I believe a micro USB and then it's just this is this connector I'm going to use for that and then uh, the output is a standard out is this a standard USB and uh, it just hooks up to the uh, Blink X-T2. So one of the issues that you might run into is that this cable now is going to stick out the back of the camera. Well, I bought one of these third-party cases that, you could, that fits pretty well around this, you know, um, the X-T2. And I'll provide you a link on the video for this. Setup. I'm just taking a standard 5 volt cell phone charger, single, and hooking, up, hooking that up to a, uh, just a screw module that I bought from Amazon for about a dollar fifty and that's going to charge this 18650 charger shield and it's going to be topped off whenever I flip the switch on the porch light it will top off the 18650 which will be a lot more capacity than the other uh, 
triple the other double a batteries that I have that came with it um, and then of course that's going to power the blink XT2 which you see here and I'm showing you a picture of the external case where it has room for the for the uh, power cord and I'll show you a shot of the uh, porch light next. I'm going to show you my porch light setup. I've got the XT2. You see it just kick, kicked on. It's right above my porch light. And I'm going to show you the charging setup now. I'm charging um, the using the shield charge the 18650 there you can see the charge light there and you can also see the wire run down that I showed you from the, the light that's charging it and then over here I have the cable coming off that's powering the XT2 and it's a pretty simple setup the, I can run a lot of power on the X-T2 and I'm going to, of course, stash this behind there and then uh, cover, the, cover this unit. It's under the porch so that it's not going to get wet. This 18650 lithium-ion battery has about 3500 milliamp hours in it versus the 3,000 milliamp hour lithium batteries that, that we have in the XT2. So this switch here is going to charge this battery. And we might have several instances in our house where we can use a switch so long as we turn it on maybe once a month or even less and it will charge this battery to a full charge enough to keep this thing running. And we could probably run three cameras off of the power in this battery.